Hello, I'm Sid from netboard.com and today we're going to download and install Drupal content management system on our local machine. So go ahead and start your browser. And if you have Windows, you want to search for VAMP. And if you have Macintosh, then you want to show, uh, search for Apache MySQL PHP for Mac. So for uh, Macintosh, uh, please download and install a MAMP. The URL is mump.info. A Windows user can install a MAMP server. So I have Windows, so I will just download the MAMP server here. Okay, let me tell you a bit about uh, VAMP server. It, uh, uh, VAMP uh, is Apache, MySQL and PHP. So Apache is the web server, MySQL is database and PHP is the scripting language. So you need this to in order to be able to run a web server on your local computer. Okay, VAMP is downloaded, so let's just go ahead and install it. So, accept the license, blah blah blah. And okay, we go to C, users, user. So, we want the C, slash user, slash your username, slash VAMP64. So, just install it. Okay, now it asks for the browser and we want to choose another browser than Internet Explorer because I want to use Firefox. So I just uh, find Firefox and then click uh, next and we want to use uh, Notepad so we click no here. And just allow it for private and public networks. Then click next and finish. Okay. So if you go to a browser now. And then start a uh, VAMP server. You should be able to go to the URL localhost and get this website. So if you click on VAMP server and then go to PHP my admin. and log in with the username root, no password. Then you should be able to see this page and this is uh, the database management system. So just click on databases and create a database for Drupal. Now we have a Drupal database. So next step is downloading Drupal. So URL Drupal.org Download Download the zip Just open the folder and extract the files If you go to your user folder vamp64 and we 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 then create a new folder here called drupal then go to the extracted drupal folder so drupal 837 and just uh, put the files here and paste them into your pvv slash drupal
then go to your browser and localhost slash Drupal okay then you go, go to the get to the install then the install screen will come and you can choose your language I would choose English then you can install the standard version okay then just click uh, continue anyway okay then you get to the database name and the database name is Drupal database username is root password is blank okay the Drupal installation is complete and we can go ahead and, and create our site so we will call my site network and uh, URL for emails and my username will be network and then I will have a password and default country well, I want to have USA time zone yeah, Europe Oslo and then just go ahead and save and continue Okay, the website is now completed and we can go. Uh, we are now in the, uh, the admin section. If we go to PHP My Admin and click on Drupal, then you will see that uh, Drupal has installed different tables. So, next tutorial will be to actually put this uh, not on our localhost but on our domain. Make sure that you check out codingfora.com today. At codingfora.com you will find free courses in engineering like statistics, programming like Android, Java, C++ and C Sharp, web development like HTML, MySQL and PHP, and of course operating systems like Ubuntu and Windows. At codingfora.com we have a great community of members that are eager to answer any of your coding related or engineering related questions. Codingfora.com also has a great archive of downloads with code, scripts and web designs. And of course all is free. So make sure you visit codingfora.com today.